Hey guys, what's up? Pase Baller here. We are now in the second game of this April 8, 2022 NBA game day. We got Milwaukee Bucks, the defending champions, with a record of 50-30, and 30, going up against Detroit Pistons, uh, the home team, with a record of 23-57. and 57. The game will be at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, so that's going to be 7 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pase Baller. Please, click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on the bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. Let's take a quick look at the uh, Eastern Conference standings for these two teams so that we'll know uh, their form and all that. Uh, starting with Milwaukee Bucks. They are at number 2 in the East. For their last 10 games, they have won 6, so they are actually doing good. Not only that, approaching this game, they are on back-to-back -back wins. For Detroit Pistons, they are at number 14 in the Eastern Conference. For their last 10 games, they have only won 4 times, so they are a bit shaky and a bit inconsistent. Approaching this game, Detroit is coming off a loss. On this game, Detroit Pistons would be having the home court advantage. In terms of fatigue, they would also have it because uh, Milwaukee Bucks played last night against the Boston Celtics. But in terms of momentum, of course, we got to give it to Milwaukee Bucks. They have been winning. And again, approaching this game, they're having back-to-back -back wins. So let's take a look at the injury list for both teams. For Milwaukee Bucks, uh, Grayson Allen is out for this game. Bembry has been waived by Milwaukee Bucks. So uh, I see... In essence, there's just one who's out, and that's Allen because Bembry has been, again, waived by the Bucks and, um, you know, wishing uh, wishing him the best uh, because of that injury that he has. Uh, for Detroit, hold on. Here we go. I see uh, four names down here. Um, they're all, no, nah, three are out. Marvin Bagley, Jeremy Grant, and Hamidou Diallo, while Corey Joseph is listed as questionable for this game. So for Detroit Pistons, three are out, and then uh, possibly four, depending on Joseph's status. I'm looking at the spread. It opened up with minus 11.5 for Milwaukee Bucks, but right now it is at minus 5.5 for the visiting team. All right. Well, it shows here that Detroit Pistons, you know, has a couple have a couple of advantages. Uh, of course, the home court at the same time, the fatigue factor. As Milwaukee just played last night against uh, a very strong Boston Celtics team. Um, I'm also looking at Milwaukee Bucks possibly uh, limiting the minutes of their uh, key players or starters down here because uh, we're just like I don't know two games um, before we start the before the season the regular season ends. Um, but uh, Milwaukee Bucks, man, again, aside from those two advantages that I mentioned for Detroit, Milwaukee Bucks simply uh, simply are the superior team as compared to Detroit Pistons, man. Uh, in, terms of, in terms of size, especially Bagley is out for Detroit Pistons. In terms of, um, what you want to call this, in terms of experience and in terms of skills, Milwaukee Bucks simply ha simply got it. At the same time, again, we're just like a couple of games before ending the regular season or the the, the elimination round, uh, as as how others call it. Um, I'm pretty sure that Bucks would want to end uh, the season uh, with a couple of wins so that they would be approaching uh, playoffs with a lot of momentum starting you know starting that uh, serious playoff round. Uh, for Detroit Pistons, I'm pretty sure that they will still give their all, but I'm looking at them possibly, uh, all, uh, also possibly uh, giving a lot of minutes to their um, to their bench players, just like what they've been doing lately. So my pick on this one would be Milwaukee Bucks, um, minus 5.5. I know a lot of people are trying to choose Detroit Pistons because, man, Detroit has been gritty um, all season long, especially in the second half of the season, but I think Milwaukee Bucks is just too much for them to handle. My pick, Bucks. Minus 5.5. Milwaukee, minus 5.5. Peace out. Pase love and God bless.